Now, so let's just say we uh, go back to the flavors and we go to add a new item. And we say, you know what? This isn't, this isn't a date. If it was a date, I should have a calendar. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you how to edit a list that's already, or a column that's already been created. You just go to list and then we'll go ahead to list settings, create a date, which, or start. It's going to, we're going to change that to start date. And then we're going to change this to a date and time. Perfect. Okay, hit OK. And it'll give us a warning, and that's all right. We're going to do end date, and that'll be a date and time. Go ahead and hit OK. Yes, we may lose data, but it's all right. There's no data in there. And now we should have everything that we want. So title, last single line of text, that makes sense. Seasonal is a yes or no checkbox. Uh, selling price and purchase price are currency and they are required just like the title and we have start date end date and that's exactly what we want so now we're going to click on flavors we're going to go ahead and add a new item so the uh, beauty of the movies is that you actually get to follow along with with every single uh, everything that we do so what we're doing now is we're just going to put in all the different ice cream flavors uh, May Mango which is a seasonal and the price is $1.30 and the cost is $0.54. Cents. The start date is uh, 5-1-2010 and the end date there's actually a shortage of mangoes which is why it's also going to be our most expensive uh, ice cream if you pay attention in economic class uh, and then go ahead and click save here. Perfect. So you'll see that we have everything right there. So we're going to add uh, some more ice cream. Going to add rockin' raspberry. This is not going to be seasonal. Uh, the selling price is a dollar. Purchase price is thirty-five cents. And we're just going to say it's um, every year we go ahead and and decide what ice cream we're going to sell. So for this, we're going to do one one twenty ten. And if you, if you feel like uh, instead of typing things in, you can actually use the calendar view and just click exactly where you, you want to go. And that's useful if you're like me and can never remember how many days are in a month. So let's see. Perfect. Great. So now that we've created it and edited a list, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to create uh, some views. So the first things first, what is a view? Uh, a view is aptly named, just simply shows you, you know, what you're looking for, what you want to view. Uh, so for instance, um, you know, maybe you only want to see you know, um, ice cream that's over a dollar or possibly, you know, anything that's in the mo month of May. So essentially the, the best way to, to really understand a view is actually to create our own views. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, we're going to go ahead and click here and go to create view. Now there's a bunch of different views but what we're going to focus on today are the standard view and the calendar view and in a uh, later lesson we'll, get, uh, we'll learn about the other views. So we're going to go ahead and create a standard view in this view, we're actually going to organize, uh, organize or sort by uh, purchase price. So we'll type in uh, price. Uh, you know what? I should say selling price. That will make things a little more clear. Okay, so I don't care about seeing attachments. So right here, we're just deciding what columns we're going to see. Uh, I do care about title, whether it's seasonal, yes. Uh, start date and end date, and I don't mind. So go ahead and select the appropriate columns. We'll go ahead and sort by uh, selling price. And we want to sort by the most expensive to least expensive. And then uh, we don't want to filter. So we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now if we look, uh, it's now sorted or the ice cream is now sorted by uh, the selling price from the most expensive to the least expensive. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another view. Uh, this view will actually have a filter involved. And you know, the easiest way to show you what that means is actually just create one. So we're gonna create another standard view. And we will uh, call this uh, it, uh, seasonal. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and just, I don't wanna see the attachments keep everything else the same and we're going to sort by uh, price once again or I should say selling price in descending order which is most expensive to least expensive and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to filter our results uh, instead of showing all items in the view what you can do is you can set up a condition where what we'll do is we'll say uh, is seasonal it's equal to uh, yes so basically what this is going to show me is all the seasonal ice cream. So we'll just hit OK here. And now you'll notice the only thing on this, uh, this view now, or being displayed, is seasonal ice cream and it's organized by selling price. So lastly, we're going to create one more view. Again, we promised you the, uh, the calendar view. So we're going to create a view, calendar view, and we'll just do a calendar. Okay, now time interview, we'll just do, it's the start date and the end date. And this just shows that in our calendar, what column are we going to display? So we just really want to know what ice cream is being served when. So we'll just do title for all of these. If you want, you can actually click on uh, the item hit T and that'll actually get you uh, a little quicker where you want to go. Month, we wanted to show all items in the view. Again, if we wanted to filter, uh, we could do that. But right now we just want to, uh, to show all items. And I definitely want mobile access so that way I can see when I can get my favorite ice cream on my phone. So hit OK. And now you actually notice when uh, all of this stuff is being served. Okay, now you may say, you know what, I, I see it may not be 100% clear to you because some of them are mango may. So you know what, I decided uh, maybe I made a mistake and I don't want to display all the ice cream. I only want to show the uh, seasonal. So what I can do is modify this view and instead add a filter. And you already know this filter, seasonal is equal to yes. And this should make it a little easier to understand what's going on here. So perfect. So we actually see that uh, April Apple is ending in April. And May and, and May, everything, you know, May Mango starts in May. So that's basically what we want to see. Um, perfect. Okay, now the last thing that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and edit um, the list and as promised change the users. So we're going to go to store locations and if you look here okay at Candy Caroline this actually should be changed. We'll, we'll go to list and we're going to go to list settings and we're going to change the manager type. Right now it's a single line of text which which isn't what we really want. We're going to go ahead and delete this column Hit OK and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a column. Only this time, manager is going to actually be a person or group. Manager of store. OK, and then we'll hit OK. And what this means now, when we go back to our list, and we go ahead and uh, edit the item, go up to here to edit item, we can actually uh, go ahead and add a an user who is actually part of the domain. So for instance, if we want to have Candy Caroline be this manager, Candy and hit the check to make sure I got that right and hit save. So that actually found Caroline or Candy Caroline and we're also going to want to edit this one and you can actually go to the browse view and we can type um, 
very. We know that very, uh, very val starts with very. Hit the search, and it'll actually find uh, find her on the domain. So we'll hit OK. Try it again. There we go. Hit save. Perfect. And now we have uh, these users are no longer just simply text fields, but they're actual real individual users that uh, we can actually do. This this will allow us to perform a lot of great functionality, which you'll see in uh, some later lessons. So that wraps up uh, today's lesson. Uh, thank you for joining us, and um, I hope to see you again.